Republicans accuse Biden administration of sending weapons to Kenya instead of Ukraine. U.S. Republicans have accused the Biden administration of bypassing Congress by transferring tens of millions of dollars in military equipment, which could have been used to assist Ukraine, to Kenyan troops stationed in Haiti, according to Politico. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Michael McCork and Senate Foreign Relations Committee Ranking Member Jim Ricketts criticized the administration in a letter to Secretary of State Antony Blinken for accelerating the funding of 60 million US dollars in military aid to combat violent gangs wreaking havoc in Haiti through the use of presidential drawdown authority. This cargo contains firearms, ammo and armored vehicles for Kenyan troops traveling to the island. They are slated to arrive on Thursday, the same day that Kenyan President William Ruto talks with senior U.S. officials in Washington. The lawmaker's letter alleges that the U.S. administration is racing to fund an indefinite operation in Haiti without congressional consent. There is a growing concern that U.S. assistance to Haiti could cost Ukraine dearly as the White House is also shipping equipment to Kiev directly from the Pentagon's stock piles. Nobody knows how long it will take to beat the gangs, which are getting more powerful and influential by the day. Armed services are conducting internal inventory audits to see what they can spare for Haiti, which puts it in direct competition with Ukraine for materials, Republican Party aid said. The United States is responding to multiple critical needs around the world and the scenarios in Ukraine and Haiti are different, said a State Department official who wished to remain anonymous. Supporting the people of Haiti does not limit or take away from our ability to support the people of Ukraine, he added. Both are important priorities and in each case, we identify support tailored to the needs of our partners. A hailstorm hit Poland's western city of Nizno on Monday, causing flooding in the city and covering it in snow. Thunderstorms and hail continue in the city, prompting authorities to issue warnings for local residents. The Polish Institute of Meteorology and Water Management issued a hail warning for several regions on Monday. There is an increased level of danger for three regions. Thunderstorms are forecast with heavy rainfall of up to 80 mm, the institute said. Polish Defense Minister Władysław Kosiniak-Kamysz announced that the Polish military would join in helping those affected by the hailstorm and eliminating the consequences of the disaster. Soldiers are mobilizing forces to provide assistance to the victims and eliminate the consequences, after the hailstorm in Nizno, the minister said. In Nizno and the surrounding area, rescuers received about 200 calls related to the disaster. The vast majority of these emergency calls had to do with pumping water out of flooded basements, apartments and commercial premises. Local farmers have already reported significant losses as many orchards were severely damaged. <laughs> 